How did Jesus teach us to pray? And what did he start with? Our Father. So we don't start with petition. We don't start even with praise. We don't start with confession. We start with framing the way we relate to God. And this is the the most important thing you can do in prayer is relate to God. You have to, in prayer, attend to your view of God. Is he on the throne or is he absent? If God is on God's throne, who is God? Who is he? A frowning father? A powerful force? Is he a gloriously strong father? Is that what you see? Is he like a vending machine to get what you really want? What is it that you see? One of the reasons that I think we're so consistently invited to the place of prayer, and maybe the reason we avoid the place of prayer, is because in prayer we have to tend to our view of God. Who the heck are you talking to? And your view of God is so important. Paul Miller says this, Oddly enough, many people struggle to pray because they're focusing on praying, not on God. Prayer is not what we're going for. God is what we're going for. We want to know God, not just get things from God. We want to relate to God. We want to keep company with God. We want to keep the conversation going with God. When you understand prayer is primarily a place to relate to God, you're way less likely to describe it as not working. This doesn't work. If it is a way of relating to God, then you're constantly wrenching on it. And you can't just say it doesn't work. My van doesn't work. Like, I'm going (laughs) to, like tomorrow, I'm going to burn it to the ground. (laughs) I got stranded four times. Uh, picked up by someone actually, Brandon, who comes to the church. You need a ride? Yeah, I do. My van doesn't work. And neither does my weed eater. But if I were to come to you and say, talking to my wife doesn't work, I tried it. You'd be like, hey, I'm not the pastor here, but maybe it's the way that you're talking to your wife that doesn't work. And I'd be like, no, it's not. I asked her to make me a sandwich and she didn't. You'd be like, your brain is not working, dude. Like, that's not how that goes. Go back, try again. Maybe with the magic word that goes, make me a sandwich, please, or whatever. You're relating to God. So we don't get to say, that didn't work. You go change the way you're doing what you're doing, and you go back at it. That's the way relating to people goes. What does asking anything of God imply about God? When you ask, what are you saying about him? Who do you believe him to be if you're asking? Come on, spout out answers. There's no wrong answers till you give one and then we'll be like, nope. Yeah, how about that he even is there or listens or hears us, loves us? What does asking for big things imply about your God? Who is God if you're asking for big things? Yeah, totally. Let me ask you this. Who is your God if you're asking for small things? Totally. Yeah. Daily bread. When you're asking for daily bread, who's your God? When you're asking for specific things, not things in general, like world peace, but when you're asking for specific things, what are you saying about your God? When you're asking for physical healing, what are you saying about your God? That he's the great physician, that he heals, that he cares about our suffering and our struggle. Let me me flip this on you and get dark. 
What does refusing to ask say about your view of God? What might be going on with your view of God when you stop praying for big things like your kingdom come? Who is he now? Are his hands tied? I wish I could do something about that, but it's just that things are, I'm just so overwhelmed. Is that who he is? What, who's your God and what might be going on with your view of God if you stop asking for small things like daily bread? What's going on there? What's going on if you stop praying for specifics? Is God busy, uninterested, unattentive? What's going on with your view of God if you only talk to him once a day before bed? What's going on in your marriage if you only talk to your wife once a day before bed? Right? I think you get what's going on here. You have to attend to your view of God. And I say this, ask anything. Ask anything. I would rather you fall off the side of the horse in asking for ponies and parking spots then play the game of trying to assess if this is a request that God wants to hear or not. Don't play that game. There's no end to that game. I would rather you be like, Lord, give me a spot right in front of the place. Like, I would, that says something about your view of God. And, and, and in your head, wrestling and going, yeah, I don't know if this qualifies. There is, there's a lot of starving kids. I don't know if this is going to, I don't know. That's not the game you want to play. Ask for anything. When you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people.